I love to golf. It's a way to get out there, challenge yourself, and you're with nature. As you step up to a ball, you really just have to quiet yourself. You have to calm your thoughts in your head and then really just focus on putting yourself in that moment. It's a tough game. It will humble you. One day it's a great game and the next day it's the toughest thing you've ever done. Golf has taught me patience and how to be strategic. In my previous career, I was in charge of a large IT management firm, implementing large systems and solving many problems. And so it was important to listen to clients. So that's really where I honed my skill of listening. A lot of that skill is what is carried over to real estate. The most important part in real estate is really listening to a client, understanding what their goal is in that purchase, but also understanding the technology, how to leverage that to both help your customers and help the process. I work with my wife. She's an amazing woman. Together, we've done all kinds of adventures. We've built a business together prior to real estate. Now we're doing real estate together as well. One of the keys of us working together is we both bring a special set of skills that we can use with our clients to give them the best service. When we moved to the Emerald Coast, it really drew our entire family in. And so weekly we get together, helping each other cook. We have family dinners, share how our week has gone, our successes, our failures, anything going on in our lives. It's good to have the support system. If I had a mantra, it would be live life to the fullest every single day. Don't take it so serious. Wake up each day grateful, with a grateful heart. Name the things you're grateful for. We practice that with our kids because I think it's a great thing to teach them as they grow. You need to realize that the things that we do each day should be captured as a memory because you don't know if tomorrow's promised.